This is a song written by Joseph Oscar Medal. And it came to my remembrance as I was on a an interview with two beautiful sisters in Christ, and I just wanted to pour this out today. It's called This Is the Air I Breathe. Take this moment, if you will, with me and listen to the lyrics. So if you've got distractions going on, if you're going 100 miles an hour, go ahead and listen to this. But I do encourage you to listen to this in the stillness as you seek the presence of the Lord. Okay? It goes. This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence living in me. This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence living in me. Here it goes. This is my daily bread. Yes, it is. This is my daily bread. Your very word spoken to me. And I, I'm desperate for you. And I, I'm lost without you. This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Yes, it is your holy presence living in me. This is my daily bread. Thank you, Father. This is my daily bread. Your very word spoken to me, a child, and I, I'm desperate for you. without you I'm lost without you I'm desperate for you I'm lost without you Father hmm I'm lost without you. And it's because, right? You are the air I breathe. Mm. You are the air I breathe. Yes, your holy presence. It is living in me, it is, yes, and I, I'm desperate.
desperate for you. Yeah, I, I'm lost without you. We can do nothing apart from God. Yes, this is my daily bread. Jesus made flesh, man. This is my daily bread. He is the very word, right? You very word spoken to me. Mm. And I, 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 I'm desperate for you. Yes, I am. I, I, I'm just lost without you. I'm lost without you. And I'm found in you. My life is in you. I'm known in you. My hope is in you. None of these things coming against. None of these things will succeed. None of these things have a chance. Because I'm in you. And greater in me. You are greater in me. Greater is he who is in me. Than he that is in the world. Greater in me, you are, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Let us all be desperate to seek after his kingdom and his righteousness. Let it. Let us all come to him in a pure heart. No sordid gain, no, no agenda, just be. Just be in his presence, just be in him. So that we can understand that this right here, this right here, the holy presence of God, Holy Spirit that comes and he he awakens us to the awareness of his existence dwelling in us and abiding with us always. He just brings it to the forefront of our focus that this is the air that gives breath into our very lungs. His breath, his living breath that he gave us. Before he formed us. In our mother's womb. He knew us. He breathed life into us. And it was intentionally done for this very time on the earth. Everything that you need. Everything that pertains to to life and godliness has already been given to you by God. And he teaches us these things through his spirit, through his Holy Spirit, as we accept and receive his Holy Spirit, as we seek God through his spirit that dwells in us, to know him, to be taught by him, to learn him, to build relationship with him, to build connection with him, real intimate connection of awareness of him being with us always. He never leaves us nor forsake us, but the awareness is deposited through 
Holy Spirit's guiding us and leading us and teaching us and counseling us and being our helper in times of need, showing up as God in action for his love for us that he sent not only his son, but his Holy Spirit to be with us through this, to teach us, to bring these things to his light in our lives and to shine light in the areas of darkness that were overtaken by life's experiences and ministering to those parts of our hearts and our minds and our souls that that need the healing and so i just want to take this time to pour this in it's been a minute and i'm going to go ahead and get off here but uh this needed to be released and so this is my obedience step by faith. What is he asking you to do in this season? And what is it that he has placed in your heart that weighs, that weighs heavy, that, that you can't go throughout one day without thinking about it, that has a sense of urgency attached to it, depending upon when it needs to be released, right? What is it? Have you sought him in this? Have you gotten before the Lord in these matters to ask him in these things? Because it says, no matter if you turn to the left or the right, you will hear that voice that says, this is the way, walk in it. And so if we know that he hears us, then we know that we have the things of which we ask him. When we ask him for guidance, when we ask him for clarity, when we ask him for things of forward movements, of next steps, of, of new connections, of, of the doors of which to walk through, then we know that we have those things. We can confidently come to the throne of God in boldness, understanding that we are his and he is ours. He says that I will be their God and they will be my people. But he, when he's asked who this is, he says, who, who shall I say sent me? His answer is, I am. Tell them I am. So it's everything, everything that pertains to life and godliness. I am doesn't leave anything out, does it? He didn't say I am blank. He said, I am, it encompasses the entire existence of the universe from the beginning of time until the end of time. Something that doesn't even exist. He is that which you need in all these things. Mm. All right, you guys. Know that God loves you and you are not alone. <laughs>